Hi peeps, my name is Foxy Eye Zena and I'm aging ethically. What you are witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is a mature lady feeling every bit of her oats now that she's discovered a beautiful new makeup technique. This is the Foxy Eye Look. This makeup technique is trending right now. I've done some research and I found this beautiful and talented makeup artist, Smitha Deepak. I will include the link down below. I am following her recommendations throughout this video. I've tweaked her outstanding tutorial to be a little more user-friendly for those of us with mature hooded eyes and I'm also using all vegan and cruelty-free products. I'm really fascinated by this trend and I want to see how it transforms the look of my face, but this originated with Bella Hadid, international supermodel. Bella and her makeup artists have really made this a popular trend. But what are hooded eyes? Hello darkness, my old friend. If you're like me, you have this extra bit of skin that sort of hangs over your eyelid. Absolutely nothing wrong with this, but some people choose to have cosmetic surgery or you can try different makeup techniques that will accentuate your natural beauty. Smitha recommends a very tight bun. <laughs> This is like an instant facelift, it really works, but you don't wanna do this every day because if you have thin or fine hair, you don't wanna pull it out with these really tight buns, but this is definitely an instant gratification result. Now I've already applied primer and foundation, but my first product for this video is going to be the e.l.f. Wow Brow. It has little fibers in it, and I'm just going to push up the eyebrow hairs with the wand. Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12 brush and NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. You guys know how much I love a vampire arched brow, but today we're going to go straight across with a shorter brow length. All I'm doing is creating a line going almost straight across and then just filling in the sparse areas with the product. Peeps, I really love the way this looks. It's absolutely stunning and it really does change the shape of your eyes. Next lovely product is ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Now mature hooded eyes, only just a little bit of concealer because what you'll find is if you use too much like the young peeps do, it really does accentuate all of the lines and the crepiness of your eyelids. So just a little bit goes a long way. I'm using this flat brush to just smooth out the product right underneath that line that I've drawn for my brows and also all over the lid. Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. Now again, just a little bit of this product is all you need to, to just like press it into your eyelid and set that foundation. We're going to prep for the eyeshadow with these lovely e.l.f. tapes. I'm going to cut one in half. Now placement is very important here. You want to follow the line of your eye upward, but you want to leave a little gap underneath your lower eyelid so that you can apply some shadow and some continuity. Yay, this is the perfect opportunity to use the Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Cosmetics Palette. I love this palette so much. We're going to be using mostly Eco Tools brushes. I love them. And some other random guys I have laying around. I'm taking the biggest Eco Tools blending brush and I'm going to start off with the shade Copper Boxes. I'm creating an ombre effect today and this shade is the lightest of the three. I am pushing it all the way out to the edge of the tape and also pushing it forward about halfway through on my eyelid and blending, blending, blending. Going for a soft glam look today, but you can pack on more pigment if you want like a more dramatic look. The next Eco Tools brush is a little smaller than the first one that I used, but it's still tapered on top. Taking the shade Told You, which is kind of like a burnt orange brown, and I'm going about halfway down the tape and pushing that shade inward and then downward on my lower lid as well.
is the smallest of the three blending brushes. Again, it has a nice tapered tip. I'm going with the darkest brown of this look, which is You're Not My Real Dad. Now I'm just using this sparingly on the inner corner of my eye and the upper and lower lid. Now it's time to remove the tape. You guys, I really love this makeup technique. I've noticed this year particularly that it's becoming harder for me to do a winged eyeliner. My hooded eye is becoming more pronounced. Now the e.l.f. tapes are very gentle and did not pull up any of my foundation, but I'm going to use a little bit more of that Revolution powder. Taking this teeny weeny little eyeliner brush. I'm going back into You're Not My Real Dad and right in the inner corner of my eye, very gently and delicately accentuating and extending the point into that little corner. This might be my favorite aspect of this foxy eye look. It's very effective and absolutely stunning. I'm gonna be listing all the products that I'm using down below in the description section, but this is the Pure Cosmetics On Point Liner. I'm taking this in the waterline of my upper and lower outer corners of my eyelid. This is the Essence Lash Princess. I will be applying this on the outer corner of my upper eyelashes. I'm taking these lovely Ardell Wispy Lashes and I'm going to cut them in half as you see here. I'm going to be using the piece with the shortest lashes and then applying it to the outer corner of my eyelashes. I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics Pro Eyelash Glue to adhere this little clipped piece onto the corner of my eye. A little more of that Essence Mascara. I'm going back into Raw Beauty Christie's palette. This is the colorful side. I'm particularly interested in the shimmer shade in the center. This shade is called Cafe Disco, which is a reference to the show The Office using it on my brow bone and underneath that little inner corner accent. And through the magic of YouTube, we have completed our foxy eye look. Now let's finish up this look with some Pure Cosmetics blush and also some more highlight. Going back into that Raw Beauty Christie palette Cafe Disco. Look how gorgeous this eyeshadow shimmer is as a highlighter. It's just so beautiful. I am in love with this palette. And finally, I'm using the Lip Bars Matte Liquid Lipstick in brick house to really pull this look together. Now in preparation for Halloween, <laughs> who am I kidding? I'm always playing with costumes, uh, even if I'm not always filming it. I have lovely little hair pieces that I use from time to time and I felt like breaking one of them out for this foxy eye look. This is a fun little hair clip. You just like create like a little bun and then just pretty much just snap it with this little hair comb right to the top of your head. This clip is not going to budge. It's a very strong comb. So this completes my look. Very Ariana Grande, very I Dream of Genie, very Bella Hadid, very much that. Give this makeup look a try for yourself and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay well, please stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!